everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good and i hope you are enjoying my content today we will be learning an alap of one of uh, a classic old hindi classic song sung by the one and only lata mangeshkar ji and uh, this was a request uh, by uh, one of my subscribers who is renuka saji ji um renuka ji this video is for you and i really want to thank you for suggesting this and also thank you for your constant support uh, with my channel um, so this song is from the movie called sunny and uh, the song is jaane kya baat hai jaane kya baat hai jaane kya baat hai so this is the song that we are going to see and we are going to see only the humming of this song uh, not the whole song though before we get into the song let's set our shruti box in the scale d and then get to the song there is no need to talk about the singer of course because it is lata ji cracking this alap of the song was bit too difficult actually because every time you try to focus on the song there is the sweet voice that you are listening to and it is actually distracting you from your focus isn't it so that's how i felt because i had to listen to this alap a multiple times because i was getting very distracted and the way she had sung it i really can't explain how she had sung it uh, in the song the entire song the pictureization and her of course her voice it was just mesmerizing to listen to it but i really want to mention who introduced me to this song so i used to watch a lot of uh, auditions indian idol auditions in indian idol junior there was this um, kid called uh, ronita banerji i heard her audition she she was a very young kid uh, must be some second or third standard uh, not more than that she had actually sung uh, the song in the auditions and when i heard it that's when i fell in love with the song i had not heard the original previously i knew that the, there was a song like this which had uh, jaane kya baat hai jaane kya baat hai i've heard this line and i have not heard the rest of the song i didn't really pay any attention to but after i heard her sing that kid ronita banerji she made me fall in love with the song uh, you know you don't really need any celebrity or any big singer uh, for you to start liking a song it can be even from a small kid like ronita that's the beauty of music isn't it you don't you don't have to be trained you don't have to be a, an ustad uh, for somebody to you know fall in love with a particular song even with that uh, childishness with that innocence in the voice you can still make people fall in love uh, with your voice with your song that you're singing i really want you all to go and check that audition uh, because she had sung it so sweetly so 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 sweetly i can't explain okay so yeah that is a small back story of this uh, song uh, let's uh, start with the alap so the alap actually comes in the second stanza of the song where the lyrics goes something like this dhak dhak ve se jiya dol raha hai a a so this is a humming so we'll split this humming into parts so the very first part we are going to stretch that note dhak dhak ve se jiya dol madhyama shruti the note is pa we are singing in the scale d right so the note the stretch note will be pa but if you are singing in shrutis like uh, g or g sharp a the note will be sa okay but if you want to know the translation in panchama shruti please let me know in the comments i'll definitely include that in the description okay dak dak pe se jiya dol ra So it's actually five notes. So the notes are ma pa ma ga re ma pa ma ga re. So the ma pa ma is going to come as a ra. So first and second part together. 
easy right and then comes ah which has six notes ah 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 the notations are ga ma ma pa ma ga so the ma pa ma is again a run here ah So now the first, second, and the third part together. Easy, right? Now in the fourth part we slide down. We slide down, right? And the notes are. So we are sliding gradually down. but the last da right you can actually loop and then come to that da gari sai da so you can actually loop in from sa and then come down sai da a okay once again da also not an issue at all but in the original that's how she's singing sai da in her sweet voice you'll be able to uh, you know listen to this uh, that small uh, loop in that she does okay so yeah so let's continue so now the first second third and fourth part together okay that you have to focus the first thing is where can you take break in between the alap because this is a longer alap right so we'll see where exactly we can take break between this alap and try to make it sound a bit seamless okay so this is part 1 and part 2 this is part 1 2 and 3 there is no breaks in between okay so this is part 4 so till here there are no breaks so you will have to sing this whole thing continuously let's try it once again see i kind of lost breath right so try take breath uh, before you start this because we do have a small uh, space between the alap and the song right 
धक धक कभी से जिया डोल रहा है आ सो वी हैव क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ गैप देयर राइट सो टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ एंड देन स्टार्ट दिस लाइन आ ओके एंड देन यू कैन टेक अ स्मॉल गैप हियर आ This is our part five and part six. Dhani gari re gari re gama ga. So that that five and six, right? Okay. So this is our whole alok. So you can take break after the fourth part that we learned. All right. Good. So now we know how to sing the alok without making it sound odd. But while you are singing the alok, you can't sing as notes. You will have to sing it continuously. even when we saw the previous point we did sing it continuously but let's get into the details of the nuances okay ha can you see a lot of voice modulation is coming volume is going up and coming down ha volume is full right ha it's getting subtle so you are pulling down the volume right ha Again, here you are giving light, little bit of volume here, not full, right? Ah, you are not giving fully, right? You are just giving a subtle uh, increase in the volume, right? Ah, 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 and towards the end, your voice is getting so sweet. So when you listen to the original. you will understand how sweet that voice is coming out especially at that part i really loved that part uh, if possible you go back and listen to the original of lata ji singing ah, so 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 sweet i can't express that word okay even though we can't um, sing like her we'll at least try and uh, be as sweet as possible okay so there towards the end ah, so you will have to give that subtleness to your voice and the volume also you will have to control okay so in this whole first part before the break right where all are we focusing let's try and sing that once again ah very good okay now moving ahead ah now here the whole second part the volume is a bit constant only when you are making that harkat gari gari re gari re there again you are just bringing your um, volume down that's it but predominantly in this whole second bit you are not uh, doing too much with respect to your uh, volume right gari re so gari re so ga is starting with a bigger volume and then it is re re you are pulling it back and then again gare again here ga is a bit too bold and then you are pulling it back gare ga ma ba when you are seeing that re ga ma ba you are actually giving the normal volume right so let's try it once again ah easy right now with the volume thing that we learned let's sing the whole ala most important part and the most challenging part which is the talam right the tempo the rhythm whatever you call it right so the song is going in chatusham which is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this is how the song is going right now you have eight counts uh, for your alap so the alap is actually starting on the beat which is on the sama i would actually suggest you to practice the alap a couple of times so that you can fit that into the talam okay i'll tell you how to sing it in the talam uh, because we only have what eight eight counts right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's all we have for this big alap only this much of space we have so there are few uh, parts of the alap that we'll have to sing faster 
okay so that is the reason i am asking you to practice this again and again so that your voice is very comfortable even if you increase the tempo you will be easily able to attempt that okay now the alap like we know starts on the sum which is on the beat which is on the first count so this is our part 1 right now we will have to complete part 4 by our sixth beat okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to complete our four parts in this small gap okay right once again and then in the remaining two counts we have to finish our part 5 and part 6 so this actually comes a bit faster okay so you will have to practice this so that your voice gets accustomed to the speed that we are singing okay so now let's try the whole alap in the beat okay understood so let's try it once again i know it is a little tricky and little difficult also but we'll uh, get it uh, because i got it so you will definitely get it okay don't worry about it so let's just try that once again and we'll do one thing we'll sing the line and then we'll continue with the alap okay dak dak kabhi se jiya dol raha that's all okay so don't think that okay i have practiced it a lot and it is easy for me don't think like that because so for every one right that i'm saying i'm singing 10 wrong ones actually so even i am making a lot of mistakes because it is it is little tricky but you will definitely get it because it is not a rocket science because we know what the notes are and we are singing it so perfectly we just have to try and fit those notes into this eight count okay it is not at all uh, difficult it will definitely come just give it a practice for a day or two okay so you will definitely get it all right so this was the video for today i hope you all had fun with this video and renuka ji thank you so much for suggestion uh, because i did not even know about this alap only after you suggested i learned this alap so thank you for giving me that opportunity to learn If you all had liked my video please do like and uh, share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe this will mean really a lot to me and uh, let me know in the comments how you liked my teaching and what part you liked the best about this alap okay with that i'll sign off for today and i hope you all have a wonderful uh, week ahead i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care and keep singing